These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There is a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos dot htm or you can just use the link in the info box. By the way, I also offer tutoring via Skype and you can find more information about that Skype tutoring service at my website. Thanks. Okay, uh, polarization. So, uh, let's see. So, remind me, uh, what is light? Oh, electric fields and magnetic fields oscillating together. Okay, yeah, that, that's a good description. Um, so, we could say that light is electromagnetic waves, but your description is even better because that says what's waving. It's the electric and magnetic fields that are waving. So we know that the, uh, so let's just focus on the oscillation of the electric fields. So um, we might say that we have some electric fields uh, oscillating in the vertical direction, say. Or let's say we have some electric fields oscillating in the plane of the board. Electric fields oscillating in the plane of the board. Um, and so if you look at them at one point, say the electric fields might be pointing up. And then if you wait half a cycle, the electric fields will be pointing down. And then if you wait another half a cycle, they'd be pointing up, then down, then up, then down, then up. So we have that oscillation in the electric fields. Okay. All right. And then we know there's also a oscillating uh, magnetic field as well. And the magnetic field is perpendicular to the electric field. So for example, I could draw the magnetic field oscillating in the plane of the board, say, at one point, the magnetic fields could be pointing right, and then half a, sec half a cycle later, they'd be pointing left and left, and then right and left and right and left. So the key thing is that the electric and magnetic fields are oscillating perpendicular to each other. Well, if I draw the electric and magnetic fields like this, then um, what direction is the wave propagating in? Into, uh, into the board. Or out of the board, right? Because we know that the direction of wave propagation is perpendicular to both the electric and magnetic fields. So the electric and magnetic field oscillations are perpendicular to each other, and they're both perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the wave. And in fact, we saw you can figure out the exact direction of the wave using the Poynting vector. I think we went with, through that in the cross product, so you won't have to do that again uh, right now. But if you look, if you say, if you know which way the electric field is pointing at a certain point, and you know which way the magnetic field is pointing at a certain point, you can use the right hand rule to, and the pointing vector to figure out which direction the wave is going in. Because so far, we, know that we don't know whether this is going into the board or out of the board. But for polarization, we won't need to review that. Uh, so you have that in your notes. So for polarization, we'll just say that the wave is moving either into the board or out of the board here. So it would be like my chalk holder. It could be going into the board or maybe out of the board. Okay. Now, Actually, um, what you normally get is that you would get a lot of electric fields oscillating in different directions. Mm -hmm. For example, you would uh, normally also get, say, electric fields oscillating left and right. You could also have, uh, in the same way, you could also have electric fields oscillating left and right. So this is part of, say, the same uh, bundle of waves. You could have electric fields oscillating left and right as well. So they'd be going all directions? All the directions that are in the same plane as each other. Yeah, so that'll become clearer in a second. So um, for this electric field, the magnetic field would be oscillating up and down, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to draw that because that would interfere with the electric field vector uh, oscillation that I already drew. But notice that we can still have this and it'll still be the same wave because what direction is the propagation of the wave going to be in? still into and out of the board. So this is still consistent with the same wave that we had before. This is still consistent with the same wave we had before. And for that matter, there could also be electric fields that are oscillating, say, uh, so to speak, uh, southeast and northwest. There could also be electric fields that are oscillating in this direction. Now, if I was going to draw the magnetic fields, then they would look like this, right? If I was going to draw the magnetic fields, they would be oscillating northeast and southwest because they'd be perpendicular. Can this still be part of the same wave? Well, what would be the direction of propagation of the wave now? It would still be the same. It would still be into and out of the board because into and out of the board is still perpendicular to this line. And 
And uh, lastly, you could also have the electric field oscillating like this, northeast and southwest. I can't draw the magnetic field anymore, but it would be perpendicular in the plane of the page. And the wave would still be going into the board and out of the board. So the point is, um, for, the same, for the same direction of propagation of the wave, you would normally have electric fields oscillating in many different directions. You would normally have electric fields oscillating in many different directions. Now, um, and in fact, there's even more directions. I could draw the electric fields oscillating this way and this way. There's an infinite number of directions that the electric field could oscillate. But as long as they're all in the same plane as each other, they all can represent the same wave that's going into and out of the board. But what I have on the board is enough to have drawn, so I'll go back to that. Best in the same in the same plane. That's right, because that way, that's it, the, uh, only if they're all in the same plane can they all be propagating a wave in the same direction. Because if they're all in the same plane, so these are all in the plane of the board, so they can all be perpendicular to the chalk holder. They can all be perpendicular to the chalk holder because they're all in the plane of the board. Okay. Um, so when you're talking about polarization, it's conventional not to worry about the magnetic field anymore. Uh, so we won't worry about drawing the magnetic field. We know that uh, for each of these electric field oscillations, there's also a magnetic field that's perpendicular to it in the plane of the board. And then uh, the direction of propagation of the wave is going into the board or out of the board. So we'll just focus on the electric fields. All right, now this is what we would call then unpolarized light. It's unpolarized because the electric fields are oscillating in all possible directions. It's unpolarized because the electric fields are oscillating in, in all the possible directions that are perpendicular to the chalk holder. The electric fields are oscillating in all possible directions that are perpendicular to the propagation of the light. So it's not necessarily perpendicular to the magnetic field. Well, I guess like who is it? What, who is the electric field? field? Like well, any. It depends. Like, Each will be lines that will be parallel, but then also the ones ones. Well, the, the magnetic field that corresponds to an electric field is always perpendicular mm -hmm. to it. So there's a, a magnetic field that's oscillating uh, that, that is. So each of these electric field oscillations, remember, is kind of inducing a magnetic field. Well, okay. the magnetic field oscillation that's being induced by this electric field is up and down. Yeah. And the magnetic field oscillation that's being induced by this electric field is southeast and northwest. Um, so yeah, they all, uh, they all have a perpendicular magnetic field as well. It turns out though that's a, a unnecessary complication. We can just focus on the electric fields when we're focusing on polarization. Okay, so here's our unpolarized light. All right, now let's draw some polarized light that's traveling in the same direction. We want to draw polarized light that's traveling in the same direction. That means I still want the light to be going into or out of the board, which means I still need to draw the electric field vectors in the plane of the board. Well, one way we could polarize it is to only allow the electric field to oscillate up and down, or north and south. We could allow uh, the electric field only to, polar, uh, only to oscillate this way. And we would call this polarized light. We would say it's up-down polarized, or maybe north-south polarized, depending on how we interpret the directions. And that means none of these other electric field oscillations are being allowed in this wave. It could still then be going into and out of the board. We only need one electric field oscillation. So this is polarized. Now, of course, there's also a magnetic field here. The magnetic field is oscillating like this. But it's conventional when you look at polarization just to focus on the electric field. OK, um, so, uh, so when we talk about the direction of polarization, it's conventional by that you mean the direction that the electric field is oscillating in. It could have been conventional to focus on the magnetic field, but that's not the convention. Uh, and we could also polarize the light in a east-west direction. So this would also be polarized light. If you wanted to draw the magnetic field, it would be oscillating up and down, but we won't bother drawing it. So this is a different polarization of that same wave. Or if you wanted to, you could polarize it northwest and southeast. You could let the electric fields oscillate like this. And then, of course, the magnetic fields would be oscillating like this. But we won't draw that, and the magnetic field can still go in. So you can select any one oscillation that you like out of the unpolarized light, and that will give you polarized light. 
Okay, so these would be examples of how you would draw a polarized light when you're only oscillating in one direction. This is unusual. Normally, we have unpolarized light. Normal light has oscillations in all the directions, propagation uh, perpendicular to the propagation of the wave. Okay, so that's the difference between polarized and unpolarized light.